Because he begins as a student activist. He doesn't just come on the scene and begin to, begin to find a place for himself. But he began there at a very young age. And he's, it's been engaged in city government. And like I said, I have this kind of, you know, I, I have this real affinity for city government because I worked in it. And when it works, it has the capacity to work. It works when people are mobilized to make the changes necessary, when people are capable to elevate their own expectations of themselves and the person who acts on their behalf. And basically, I'm, saying, I'm thinking that you elect Henry Fernandez as the mayor here of New Haven. You not only, he not only brings to the table his own capacity to grow and develop and to listen and to hear people, that he also enriches and also enhances your capacity as well. And that's an important element. That's one. And the real issues are the same issues that, that I dealt with two generations ago almost now, 40 years ago, more than 40 years ago in city government. They're the same issues. Certainly we're going to have to deal with the issue of certainly whether we get greater, whether we raise funds, whether we have creative and imaginative ways of creating employment, you know, how do we deal with programs around youth and their development and the next generation's development? How do we deal with the issue of education? And people talk about the issue of education all the time. I happen to be on the board of the Algebra Project, a uh, project developed by, by um, uh, Bob Moses. And for all of my life, because I went to public school, I am an avid supporter of public education and an avid supporter of teachers and putting them in the and teachers and children and administrators in the right situation in which they can succeed. Those are the things that, that Henry is about. These are the things that he's worked with with, with, with with respect to city government and programs, lead program, or things that he's done most of his life. And I know his amazing wife, because we worked in death penalty cases more than some time ago. <laughs> We worked in that gun penalty issue. And the issues, the issues that face us in the 21st century. That's not, I think when we confront the issues, honestly, and, and certainly transparently, when we confront the issues of the 21st century, we find that we're all in this together. We find that we have to find, we're going to have to create the kind of community, the transformative community. And I think we, we talk about that. I think King talked about transformation and community. What was his last book? Where do we go from here? Community of Chaos. And the question is, where do we go? We still have the capacity to reimagine and rebuild our communities in the face of also reimagining and rebuilding democracy.